Awesome. Mr. Matt. Good to you. see you. Amazing to have you back Good in the UK. Good to see you again, man. Oh, yeah. Too long. Way too long. What's it? 12, 15? 99. 99. And just as a refresher. That makes you cringe, right? It does there. make us cringe. I'm going to need a refresher after Okay, that. here we go. This was us. <laughs> Red Bull Air <Aaron> Water, <laughs> Belfast. We actually were on a podium together, which was kind of fun. And this is what we look like. I love like having a, I have a leather jacket on on the podium. Yeah, you could have <laughs> dressed up. What was I thinking? <laughs> That's been way too long. I can't believe I've waited that long to come back to the UK. But that was a, that was a good year for Red Bull events. That was the Red Bull Air and Water uh, in Belfast, right. in Ireland, that had that crazy, crazy huge snowboard ramp. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. you hit. We're now four years into Red Bull Harbor Reach parks, and the, and the first one on a little coastal town called Lyme Regis was a big enough affair. Things have moved along a it's lot. It's come a long way, huh? Well, to be city center of Liverpool, one of the biggest cities in, in the country, at the heart of, well, a lot of history here. And we have got some serious obstacles out there that uh, is fairly jam-packed, fairly Intensive on the on the knees. Yeah, I was watching the guys. <laughs> I was watching the guys hit it this morning, man. You come straight off the dock and you're into a rooftop, and it's it, the course is super packed. It keeps you super busy out there. It's going to be really hard to judge, but uh, you know, and it's just cool. There's a bunch of different kicker hits. Like there's ones where you're like jumping over the edge of a ship. They got like barrels like stacked up like three or four meters tall. So. You know, there's going to be some some big big hits out there, some big landings, and some sore knees come uh, some Monday. Some ice packs necessary. Yeah, yeah, definitely. The the weekend. What has been your view, the stateside view of what's happening in the UK and Europe? You know, I mean, just the cable scene alone in the states is just is blowing up. We only had one cable back when I first started wakeboarding, and so the only time I would get to ride cables is when I would come over here to like Princess Princess, Princess and, for the yeah, World yeah. Cup event. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, you know, that's the start of it all. And, like, you know, Europe in general has such a good foundation of, like, good young riders just because they're able to ride all the time. Yeah, and it, you can tell, man. You've, I mean, there's been so many good cable riders out here. Who are, like, some of the names that you think are going to, that I haven't heard of? Because pretty much I, I know Dan Knott, Nick Davies, and a couple others, but there's got to be some uh, ripping uh, young uh, guys. Apart from me, obviously. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I mean, you're in the conversation. You're, you're in the now. Um, so we've got, as you say, a lot of, lot of, annoyingly good rippers whose knees still work and not, <laughs> not afraid of throwing themselves. It's a good adjective, stump. annoyingly. Yeah, <laughs> annoyingly good. So there's a... Uh, yeah, Battle Day. His last name is Battle Day? Battle Day, That's yeah. a sweet last name. So he's, uh, he, him and his brother Joe Battle Day are rather handy. He's got recently Moby Dick 7s. What? Yes. There's got to be an age limit on that trick that he doesn't mean. He's pretty at it. <laughs> that's, yeah, yeah. That's, that's ridiculous, man. And there's also um, another UK rider who is, did well last year, CK Costa, who... Um, oh, yeah, I know CK from... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's been around a little while, and um, he's having a killer year on rails. And Sick, yeah, he rides good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he'll be looking to uh, do well this... He was here last year, so... Well, it that, sounds like as a judge, we're going to have our hands full. You are most definitely going to have your hands full with the lineup that we've got, which is always killer. I always thought it'd be a less stressful judging event as opposed to riding an event. But judging a rail event is a cluster, man. Like, mm -hmm. it, it is hard to keep you up with. I uh, look forward to riding for you and hopefully impressing you. And Good awesome to see you again. Let's not wait another 12 years, Please, no, huh? No, 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 no. Let's do the damn thing.